from necklaces to hat pins. Hello and welcome to Johanna's history. I will be showing you how to make your own hat pin. We will be using knitted needles and you want them as thin as possible and the length that you like. You can find them at a store or a thrift store. And you will also need some necklaces or beads. I have necklaces from thrift stores here. They are plastic, but I think they look quite nice. And uh, in this uh, pile of multicolored beads, there are some nice glass beads as well. I will be using a lacquer to adhere the bead to the needle. And I will be using this instead of a super glue because I find the super glue gets too brittle and doesn't hold on to the needle as well as this does. The first thing I did was to take the beads of the necklaces. Some of these necklaces I could do it without taking the whole necklace loose. I had to remove the metal bindings in these and uh, in these. So when I had taken all the beads that I needed, I show some that I would like to try for my hat pins. To prepare the needles, I have put a little silver filigree bead on them that sits quite snug. So the other pearls don't fall off like this little black bead. I put a black bead as well, so I had some protection against this filigree bead if I don't want to use that in the final version on this. The filigree bead is mostly there to hold everything in place until I don't need it anymore. So by making the hat pin, you take a pin and uh, you make sure that the bead can be put on the needle and you glue it with the lacquer and if you only want this turquoise bead you can later remove the black bead and the filigree bead and leave just the turquoise bead or you can try to make different combinations of beads just as you like it. To glue it, you need to take your lacquer. And I haven't opened this before, so I have to open it now. And then you take your bead. And if it's a quite large hole, like in this, you can put the lacquer in the bead directly and then stick your needle in the bead. Now the black bead left, so I will use another one. That way you can make sure that the lacquer is all the way through the bead. And when you have positioned your bead like you want it to, with the lacquer inside, you put it down and let it dry. The downside with using the lacquer is that it takes a longer time to dry than uh, the super glue. You have to wait at least eight hours. More if you want to be sure that it's dry all through. You can also take lacquer on the pin and make sure you get enough so it adheres around it all and then take your bead and thread it on the downside with this method is that uh, you can get excess of lacquer that is harder to control than if you put it in the bead and stick the needle through later so when you have put your beads on this way you can top off with a little more lacquer from the top and uh, make sure that you let it go inside the bead and take a little more so you're sure that it will be enough so it won't 
get loose when you use it. So here we have five hat pins ready for you to use. These still have to dry for about eight hours. But when they are dry, you can use them to fasten your hat. And it's up to you which kind of beads you like to use. And if you want them to be as historically correct as possible, or if you just want to make them nice. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content in the future, I will be doing more tutorials like this, how to make things that you can use. I will also try to make uh, other things. So this is only the beginning. See ya! Hello. <coughs> oh. Hello and welcome to Johanna's History. I'm going to show you how to make your own hat pin. If you like this, uh, <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be putting up 